So it's been a couple weeks since we've been to Trader Joe's, so we have quite the plethora of haul items today. Um, some of them are new, some of them are regular standbys, but let's go ahead and get to it. Um, so starting over here, um, I picked up some of the oven roasted turkey breast. I, I picked this up primarily because I needed to add a little something to my work lunch. So this is to just take to work with me and have there. Um, I also picked up some snow peas and snow sugar snap peas. These are really good. You just pop them in the microwave and you're good to go. And it's, I, I like them to snack on. So at least it's a healthy snack because we got a whole lot of unhealthy snacks here. Um, this is just a seafood blend. I'm going to make, um, I originally was going to make seafood enchiladas. And now I'm rethinking how I'm going to do that. But it's going to be some sort of in the line of enchiladas, but not enchiladas with seafood. We'll see what happens. Uh, on one of the suggestions, I think it was Farah that suggested this, um, was talking about the vegan cream cheese. So this is the Unlocks Your Dreams. Um, I don't know if it's the right one that she was referring to, but I thought I'd give it a try. These are really, really good. These are uncured ham and Swiss cheese flaky croissants. Um, what's really nice is they're in actually individual baggies, so you can have as many, you know, take out only what you need. They're four in a box. I think they took about 20 minutes to cook or so. We bought two boxes because everything we seem to get that we really like disappears. So we wanted to stock up. It's just in the freezer section. These are really good. Um, another thing that we really like are the almond croissants. Um, if these are the ones with Addy. Take them out the night before. They proof. They're just tasty little treat. Let's put it that way. Yummy. So, and every time we go, they don't always have the plain almond ones. So we just pick one up just to make sure we have them. Um, this is something new to me, but I've seen others haul it. It's the chili lime and chicken burgers. I was thinking this might be a really nice, um, easy something on a lettuce wrap with, well, it says serve with guacamole as well. But I was just thinking, yeah, we try it. We tried some of their other burgers. I wanted to think the sirloin one and maybe the turkey one. So we thought we'd give the chicken one a try. Along those same lines, the sweet potato gnocchi. I use this recently for something. I don't even remember what it was. These are really good. Um, we'd also had the cauliflower gnocchi as well and the gorgonzola one. I think I like the sweet potato one better than the gorgonzola one. Just personal preference though. Um, and then I took, picked up some turkey meat, meatballs. This is for an idea I have um, to make something and um, to shorten my time of not having to make my own meatballs. I went ahead and picked some up. Okay, so this is pork rib bites with barbecue sauce. I got this because I saw Nancy Rounds um, haul it in her Trader Joe's bit, and uh, I hadn't noticed it in my own Trader Joe's, but I thought this might be a really easy um, meal one, one night if I'm not in the mood to cook or something, so I thought I'd give that a try. Um, the Chili Hatch Mac and Cheese got this. My husband picked this out. He's been trying several of them it's to take to work for lunch he had the pepperoni pizza one last time so he's giving this one a try the potato lockies or potato pancakes oh my word these are such a treat i you put a bake them in the oven um if i'm home alone chances are i'm going to eat this for dinner one night put a little ketchup on there it's just they're really really good so i picked up two more of those um, this is another, I have never, I guess I'm just starting to learn a lot about shredded cheeses. I just haven't bought a lot in the past. And this, um, I, Nancy did this one as well. It was the three cheese blend. So I picked up one of those. And this one I just used for just about everything. It's the Swiss and Gruyere. Just a really a go-to one for me. Love it. Um, and then last week I like to take cheese to have a block of cheese at work with me for lunch, and this is the double cream Gouda. I really liked it, um, so I had a seek. I wasn't sure if they had it again, because sometimes you're never sure, but this one is really good. And then the, if you haven't had them, the little mini cucumbers, or sometimes they're called uh, Persian cucumbers, I really like these. I tend to sometimes, cucumbers can make me a little um, belchy. 
<laughs> and I do not have the problem with these at all. So, and they're nice. I like to have something crunchy sometimes, so this helps with that. Broken record, because I say it every time. This is the mozzarella cheese sticks, and then the uncured salami. You wrap them up, you make a nice little treat. A few weeks ago, I tried this, um, this avocado, and their individual portion sizes are really good sizes, and it's really good um, avocado. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get some more of that. It was really good. Another normal staple in the house is the sticky buns. I like these little Chinese style pork buns. They're just, they're easy and tasty and I like them. So what we have here are the oven baked cheese bites. I've heard other people talk about this and how good they are. One woman was talking about how she ate a whole bag on her way home from Trader Joe's. So I thought, okay, we'll give that a try. I've been working through the various uh, kind of seasoned chips they have. I re my favorite is the beets. The Just Beets one is my favorite. I got the broccoli one last time, which was good, but it was really high in fat, which uh, kind of surprised me. So this is a seasoned kale chip, so I'm going to give that a try this time around. Then we have a plethora of junk food, so to speak. The Bamba, these are the peanut, butter, peanut, peanut, peanut snacks. I would call this, if you... We've got the cheesy poofs as well. So these are kind of white cheddar corn puffs. These are peanut butter puffs. So they have the same kind of texture as these, but it tastes like peanut butter. So they're really good. Um, last time, last time I tried the plantain chips. This time I just tried to decided to try the vegetable root chips. Really like the plantain chips. They were really tasty. Or parsnips, not par. They weren't plantains parsnips the parsnips i i managed to eat that whole bag in one week so yeah probably not big or family but that's okay and then these are some staples i really this is the mangoes that i like the dried mangoes unsweetened and unsulfured i go through a bag of these a week so and we hadn't it's been getting harder to get to trader joe's every week so i picked up two because i get very sad when i eat the last one out of that uh, my husband really likes the little dried bana baby bananas. They look like just little bitty bananas, and he's really enjoying that. Uh, I picked up some gnocchi. Um, this is very good, easy to make. Put in a variety of things, some caponelli, just because I like to have that around the house. And to go with it, um, some roasted garlic marinara. It's just a good basic to have in the house. Then we have some... The teriyaki beef jerky, we both like this and like to snack on it, so got a couple bags of that as well. So one of the things I take for lunch with me is I like to take the miso ginger broth soup. Um, I've actually got two of them this time, and I like to pair it with these chip, chicken soup dumplings. So the miso soup, it's this is really um, high in sodium. It's very salty, and these are actually really high in sodium as well. So I like to mix half of the miso ginger broth, half water, and then put two dumplings in there. And it works out really nicely. You can put it in the microwave very easily It works. So I've got that. And we forgot these last week and we were, last time, we were very sad. These are the inside out carrot cake. I'm sure these are just a seasonal favorite. So we're gonna try and enjoy as many as we can over the next few weeks. My husband really likes the Walker shortbread cookies. So that's um, what we got. I watched my nephew on Fridays, and for some reason, he had it in his head. He's like, don't, you, don't have, you don't have marshmallows? Can, can I just have a couple marshmallows? Like, I don't just have marshmallows. So I picked up a bag of Trader Joe's marshmallows. I tried to give him marshmallow cream, but that didn't work. The other thing that he asked for was popcorn. He gets very particular about what he wants to eat. So I just picked up some of the movie theater popcorn. So this week when I have him, he'll have something to eat. Um, I made up a big batch of uh, salsa, and uh, I had also got, last time around, I got the soy, chai, soy chips, and they are very healthy for you, but they're not nearly as tasty as, <laughs> as the corn chips, <laughs> the Frito style, so I got a couple more of those. I just picked up a couple of cards, they're just thank you cards to have around. Um, the ming, uh, mango ginger chutney. 
I picked this up because I had tried some of the samosas, the vegetable samosas recently, and I had meant, I thought I had already picked up chutney or thought I already had some and I didn't. So I got this because I wanted to try it with those. The vegetable ones are very good. They have a nice little spiciness to them. I enjoyed that. Um, and then just to have some around uh, the balsamic vinegar. They have two kinds of balsamic vinegar. This is the more expensive of the two. I actually find it much thicker and really inexpensive and tasty. Um, I'd run out of chicken broth, so I picked up a couple of chicken broths. I like the low sodium one. There, <laughs> there are four, four jars of dill pickles. I, we love these dill pickles. I have a jar at work. We usually have two at the house, and my husband's like, can't I have a jar for work too? Sure, you can have a jar for work. Yes, really like the dill pickles. Everyday kind of favorites, the peanuts go on a date. These are just... They're tasty and they're good and I think they're fairly healthy. Maybe not, but they look they have they have good things in it. Yes. Of course blueberry bars, he's really crazy about those. Got two of those. He also likes the nutty chocolate granola bar ones. I picked up a four a few more of the cleanser. These are I like these. Um they work really well. They have a nice scent to them as well. So I I've been pleased with it. Another item from my husband's lunch, he tried the lentil. the lentil soup. Any, you were, what did you say about the lentil soup? It seemed really peppery. It was kind of spicy, but not a, it was like a peppery spice, not a hot or a seasonally spice. It just seemed like it had a lot of pepper um, and maybe salt in it. So it so, wasn't nearly as good as yours. Not, it was maybe three on a scale of 10 with yours being a nine. Why does that have anything to do with it? Okay. Point of reference for me? I don't know. All right. Point of reference for you. Um, so he's going to try the chicken noodle soup with veggies. Of course nothing's going to be as good as what I make, right? No. No. Yeah. There's no way. Self-serving there. What can I say? Um, and then he picked up some of the decaf cups and the medium roast. And, and strangely enough, there were no K cups of the regular medium roast this time around. So this was our big haul for the week.